So I'm going to talk about um, the inspiration that led me to write my book Where the Rock Splits the Sky. And for me it all started with a road trip that I took with a friend. We, we, worked, we drove through America and Canada and we bought a 1969 very old Dodge van in Florida and we drove this along the bottom of America, basically through the Midwest, um, from the East Coast to the West Coast. And the highlight of the trip for me was the Midwest, and a particular place called the Four Corners, which is where four states of America meet in one place. And the four states are Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. And it's an incredibly beautiful and wild place. Uh, the setting for many iconic westerns like the searchers and um, I absolutely loved it, it blew me away, it was an amazing trip. I kept a diary uh, pretty religiously, I wrote a, a diary entries every day um, and at the end of the trip, that was it really, I, I took the diary and put it in my loft and didn't see it, it gathered dust basically for 20 years and I had no idea what to do with the material and that provides the background or the setting to the book but I needed a seed idea, some big idea that would drive the plot and that came to me from a, a friend who talked about this plan to tow huge oil tankers or cargo ships across the oceans um, purely through wind power so that they would be being towed by these enormous kites um, up to 50,000 square foot, the size of football fields basically. And I wanted to take that idea further. How far could I possibly take that idea? And I came up with the idea of an entire planet, the planet Earth, being towed. And it's um, an idea that sparks off lots of other ideas and also some big questions. Um, so the consequences were interesting to me. If the planet is being towed somewhere, then it necessarily has to stop spinning, which means that there would be a light side and a dark side, like the moon. Um, and then some of the big plot, plot questions would be, well, who is towing this planet? Where are they going and for what reason? So that was the seed idea. Um, and then there are also other influences, lots of books and films. Um, you, you can pick out the influences when you read the book. There are lots of westerns and lots of science fiction films. But there was one film which had the deepest influence. Um, it's a film that my mum took me to go and see when I was about 12. And um, it's by a Russian director called Andrei Tarkovsky. Uh, the film is called Stalker and it came out at around about the same time as Star Wars. And um, it's almost the exact opposite of Star Wars. It's not a big budget um, special effects type of film. It's quite slow, but it really stuck with me and it sort of lodged in my imagination. And I must have seen it about 10 or 11 times over the years. And the thing that really strikes me about it is how visually beautiful it is. So it, it's set in the wilderness area of Russia, a um, place referred to, an apocalyptic area referred to as the zone. And there are these characters, stalkers, who only they have the skills and courage to be able to navigate the zone. And the idea really stuck with me and I wanted to develop that idea and so that was sort of the background and the, uh, the, the backbone to the book. So there you have it. So the three influences are my American trip uh, with my diary, uh, gathering dust all those years, didn't know what to do with it. Um, the big idea of tethers and uh, a planet being towed somewhere and um, a big, big influence from a science fiction film. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy reading the book as much as I've enjoyed writing it.